We open today's show with the latest on the two black Tennessee state lawmakers who were expelled from their positions due to a peaceful protest calling for gun safety laws and reform. Now, while their stories of expulsion, reinstatement, and democracy at large have understandably taken the conversation in a different and equally legitimate direction, I want us to not forget that Tennessee still has not done anything, not even moved the needle a little bit, on the underlying reasons for these men's protest, changes to gun safety laws in Tennessee. So let's spend some time on the issue at large, gun violence in America. We do not need any more studies or data points to show us that gun violence in America is at a full-on epidemic proportion. Mass shootings have never been more frequent or more deadly. I'd be here all day trying to list each and every mass shooting our nation has suffered over the past few years. But here are just a few that pop out in recent memory and from major headlines. Nine black Americans killed in Charleston. 11 Asian Americans killed in California, 11 Jewish Americans killed in Pittsburgh, 21 people, mostly Hispanic children, killed at a Texas elementary school, 8 Asian American women killed in Atlanta, 49 people of the LGBTQ plus community killed in Orlando, and 6 people, including 3 little white children, killed in Tennessee. My point is that this is diversity of the most devastating kind. But it tells us something very important. See, it tells us that regardless of race, gender, religion, age, or sexual orientation, America's government has decided firmly that guns matter more than all the lives. And y'all, that's a wild statement. While we are sadly used to our nation discounting and disregarding the lives of black folk, queer people, Asians, Hispanics, and Jews, little white kids, though? <laughs> Y'all, we really have to take a moment here to recognize that federal government and most state legislators, they are willing to sacrifice the lives of young white children. That is what they are saying. And they're willing to do so for the sake of not upsetting the gun lobby, who is undisputedly led by the NRA. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time today going into the weeds on this one, because this one is actually simple. It is both cut and dry. It's just all about the money, period. The NRA spent over $2.6 million in lobbying efforts in 2022 alone. $2.6 million. So until gun safety organizations are willing and able to do the same, I'm very sad to say that we will continue to see more mass shootings and more mass deaths than we have days of the year. 